Greetings to all. Welcome back to the course on MATLAB Simulink. So, we'll be starting from the MATLAB programming and the power of MATLAB. So, MATLAB can do uh, multiple things in mathematical problems. So, but we will be focusing on the four core problems which are common to the electrical engineering. Like, I'll be uh, teaching you about the linear algebra and how to deal with it using MATLAB then using algebra, algebraic equations, matrices and arrays are very important when uh, uh, when solving uh, equations, uh, especially the KVL, KCL equations and uh, 2D and 3D graph plotting, uh, which is used for seeing the waveforms and the characteristic of uh, certain uh, systems. So MATLAB can do multiple things like nonlinear function, data analysis, it is very good for calculus, differential equation and other curve fitting problems also can be done using MATLAB but we will be focusing on these four. So the basic syntax, we should learn the basic syntax. So first uh, you can see that the operators, what are operators? Operators are the symbols or the syntax which are used, which when used does a specific work. So here you can see that the plus sign is shown whose work is to do addition. Similarly, minus sign is shown for subtraction. If I want to subtract A minus plus B, we can do this. Then A minus B. So these are known as operators. This is known as operator. So another operator is asterisk. Asterisk sign is used for the multiplication. So the multiplication, if you want to do, then you can use asterisk sign. This asterisk sign can be used for multiplication. But what if this A and B are matrices. If this is a matrix and B is also a matrix, but how can you multiply these two matrices? Then you need an operator which is multiplication sign and a dot followed by multiplication sign. When a dot follows any operator, it is assigned for the array or the matrices multiplication, addition or division. So dot signifies that the operator is being used for the matrices okay so another thing uh, these are the very important uh, operators and we will be using them in uh, when we will be doing the program then variables variables are like a memory location which holds a specific value and this value changes as the program runs so maybe uh, you you have assigned a into b so you uh, the program is written for the multiplication of two variables and uh, the result will be stored in the third variable known as z. So the z, a and b all three will be variable where these value can be changed by the programmer. Programmer will uh, input, programmer input will change this value and z will be the result. But the underlying thing is all the three can be changed and will change as the as the programmer wants to shift uh, the values or change the values. So that's why the name of this specific type of memory is known as variable. Memory is a location where this can be saved. This Z, A and B values will be saved. But what kind of Z or A or B has a nature? So A or B as a variable can have a, any, any nature. So what I mean by nature is A can have a value of 0.9. A can have a value of 99, A can have a value of, it can have a value of like uh, irrational number like 3.1456 like this, which is, uh, in, uh, which is, which is uh, known as the irrational number. So how can we do or A can also have like in electrical engineering, we have complex numbers, J4. So depending on the type and the nature of the variable, we assign the type, data type to the that particular variable. So here the character variable is for the character. If the variable A consists of a name, so it's name MATLAB, then the character, then the type of this will be character. If A consists of a complex like we, we were talking about, then the type data type will be known as complex you have to assign it similarly double if a is simple simply a number integer number then you can assign an integer integer values 8 16 32 defines the 
uh, the value or that the bits assigned for that particular number. So if the number is very large, like nine lakh, nine crore, you can assign 64 bits. Okay. Logical is for if A is in uh, function, uh, logical can be uh, one or zero or a binary number. Then single and fixed point is for the floating numbers like I was talking about if a number is six, seven, six, seven, six, seven. So this type of number can be assigned to the under the fixed floating type uh, or the fixed point uh, data type. Okay. La and another thing is signed or unsigned. Signed means which has a positive and negative sign. Unsigned means you don't need uh, to define the polarity of the that number, whether it is positive or negative. Then we come to the command window. We have already seen the command window. So uh, here the command window you can see that I have written a basic example 2 into 3 and the answer is coming 6. This is the very elementary thing you can do using the MATLAB command window. Then I am doing, what I am doing is, I am saving this result into A. So here A becomes an variable. Okay. So A, when I am uh, prompting A, the A is showing that uh, the value stored in the A variable is 6, which we already know that 2 into 3, I, I have assigned 2 into 3 to A. So 2 into 3 is 6. Okay. This you can do with uh, multiple operator, I am using mul multiplication operator which is asterisk, you can use anything and any solve, anything can be solved. Then the important thing is what is array? Array is a group of number, group of characteristic or a group of mix of characters and the numbers. So array can be assigned like this. So I have assigned a length of 5 array, a array which, which has a length of 5. So I have assigned 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and array are assigned with the square bracket. With this bracket you can assign an array. So with this bracket if I, I can also write 1, comma, A, comma, uh, any other thing uh, I can use as a 2. So this is an array which, which has a length of 3 and I can use a mix of numbers and the alphabets. So array is shown like this. Similarly, matrices is a two-dimensional array. Here, the dimension is only one. This is a one dimension or a one row. If I use a vertical array, like this is a vertical array, so to, to shift the column, we use column. So like if I take an example of this only, the array I have earlier used, array, I have used one, if instead of space, I will be putting colon, 2, colon, 3, colon, 4, colon, and uh, we, we can do till here only 4, then the array would be looking like this. Array would be looking like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, instead of like this. So if we use a combination of space, and colon semicolon we can uh, make a uh, matrices so here i am making a matrices the first row is 1 2 3 4 separated by a comma you can use comma or space then i am using semicolon so i am uh, pressing an enter button like uh, writing a word file we use enter button so when i am using a semicolon we are changing the number of row the row number is changed then I am putting 1, 2, 3, 4, then I, again I am using semicolon, then 1, 2, 3, 4, then again semicolon, then 1, 2, 3, 4, then I am uh, closing the bracket. So this will look like this. So semicolons I am putting at this points. So I can also write matrices like this. So uh, this is a video on the basics of programming. Now we will be learning how to code.